it's important that you reach out to the school. You let them know for whatever reason that you are looking for, um, you have special circumstances, but it doesn't fall under the umbrella of what the federal government is stating as special circumstances. And there are many schools who will work with you and maybe provide some suggestions. So now we're gonna be going over the homeless circumstance, which is a challenge, it's challenging to get to school if you are homeless. So that question that came up on or after July 1st, were you homeless or were you self-supporting and at risk for being homeless? So they're going to then, if you press yes, they're going to give you uh, some opportunity to explain it further. So they have, oftentimes, if you are experiencing potential homelessness or homelessness, you have a liaison at your high school, and many students don't know this, but it's important to go into the school counseling office or the guidance counseling office and ask for the person who works with homeless students. So if you click that your high school or school district homeless liaison, you can click on that and they'll ask you another series of questions. So then they have um, another option if you're at an emergency, emergency shelter or in transitional housing. Um, that also, you can press that or the director of a runaway or homeless youth basic center or transitional living program. Those are all opportunities for you to support that you're under potentially the umbrella of a program. So it's important that you indicate that you are homeless or at risk for homeless and that you answered none of the above, important if you indicated and you answered none of the above, it's going to be hard to prove that you actually were homeless. So it's important that you actually have that opportunity. So if you fall under this one of the three that they gave you, it then they'll ask you, they'll just have you do your household size, if you have a spouse, if you don't, you put zero, and then it will say, it'll consider you as the person, the household size is one, and then you put in that you're going to college, that below number in college, and one.